Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about methods in Java. So, what is a method? By using methods, uh, we can implement the uh, business implementations of a business services. To implement that business services, uh, we have two types of methods in Java. One is a uh, static method. One more is non-static method. So non-static method and uh, static method. Now see here. So see here. Let's go with the first non-static method. Now let me write the syntax. How to define non-static method? Let me write the syntax. Now see here what I'm doing. Axis specifier data type. variable name sorry axis specifier void or return type method name some arguments every method should begin with open close braces and every method should end with the close curly braces now see here by using axis specifier, we can specify the scope of a method. So that scope we can specify by using a axis specifier. That is axis specifier, specifying the axis of the method. So that we can specify by declaring the method as a public, private, protected, default. Whenever we declare a method as a public, we can access this public method from anywhere within the package. We can access outside the package. We can access anywhere in the project. We can access whenever we declare a method as a private. The scope of the private method is um, within the class only. Outside the class, we cannot access. Whenever we declare a method as a default, the scope is uh, within the package we can access. Whenever we declare a method as a protected, within the same package, anywhere in the class, we cannot we can access, but outside the package, we cannot access. By default, um, if you don't specify any access specifier, by default, these methods will be default. That is, um, Axis specifier is always optional for variables, methods, as well as classes. Next one, void. So void means it returns nothing. Just executes. Uh, it executes the business functionality, but it won't come back with any response. If you want to see any response from this business method, then write a return type. So whenever you write a return type, uh, compulsory once execution is done, this business method is coming up with a uh, some response some response these values we can call as a return values that return values we can get it by using return statement so in the form in place of return type that can be primitive that can be class type or that can be interface type that can be any type right we'll see one by one what is that method name method name can be anything but it should be very meaningful by seeing this method name we should be in a position to understand what we have implemented inside the business method so method name should start with a small letter and if the method name is having multiple words first word should start with a small letter next word should start with a capital letter like variables that means uh, every variable should start with a small letter and if it is having multiple words uh, it should start with a capital letter in the same way every method should start with a small letter if it is having multiple words uh, first word should start with a small letter next word should start with a capital letter next uh, Variables should not start with the special characters and numbers in the same way method names also should not start with the special characters and numbers but from 1.8 version onwards uh, one special care symbol is allowed that is underscore is allowed as a part of method name. Now arguments so we can pass arguments to the methods like uh, integer, byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, class type, interface type etc. We will see, we will see in programmatically. Now, Every method should begin with uh, open curly braces and every method should end with uh, close curly braces. Whenever the method is having return type as a void, uh, it returns nothing. So when the method return type is having void, uh, return statement we should not specify. We should not specify the return statement. Whenever our method is having return type, uh, then only we should specify the return statement. Otherwise, we will get compile time error. Now see here with a written type without written type let's write a sample example now let me create one class 
new class test to demo now just observe here what I am doing I am taking one variable int a is equal to 90 b is equal to 100 the semicolon now I am writing one method as I add public now I am writing this method as a return type as a void now see here int c int result is equal to a plus b now let me print s y s o result result now let me write the main method now as it is a non-static method we can access non-static methods on variables by creating object now let me create the object test is equal to new test demo one now on this test i am calling the method called add method now see here so when i am calling add method on where test test is of type what object in this uh, is there any add method yes sir this method is executing and it is coming back with uh, without response without response now see here let me run it so as it is coming with without response can i keep sysco or can i store the response into any variable we cannot otherwise we will get compiled ml because this method is running what nothing but let me keep here instead of void let me keep int now write return result now we are not going to see any issues now because this method is returning it is this method is coming back returning what some result now see here right click run as java application now see here what is the value i am getting 190 190 right so whenever a method is having some return type then only this methods will come back with some response and we can use this response suppose if the method is returning void it means nothing then we cannot hold up any values otherwise we will get compile time error that means uh, void indicates nothing just execution is going to be done whenever we create a type uh, once execution is done this method will come back with some response some response so whenever we are having a method written type as a void we should not write any return statement uh, whenever our method is having written type uh, so compulsory we should specify return statement otherwise we will get compile time error now so whenever we keep a method return type as a void return statement is not required whenever we are returning some values so compulsory we should specify return statement always our return values is based on return statement now it is int say here this result is of type what int so this should be of type what int suppose i am writing here float is any problem no problem at all because uh, a float can hold what int suppose i am writing this one as a float yes no problem at all float float valid if i write int now i am going to get compiled time error because it is returning what value float but the return type is what integer that's why we are going to get what compile time error now see here what i am doing now how they'll ask you in the interview now they'll ask you what is the output for it now see here we will get compile time error put the cursor here what is telling see here unreachable code that is uh, in the method uh, return statement should be the last statement otherwise we will get a compile time error that is uh, in the method uh, the return statement should be the last statement otherwise we will get compile error now see here now it works fine right now so second static method so whenever we declare a method as a non-static method this non-static methods we can access through only one way what is that by creating object so in how many ways we can access non-static methods we can access non-static methods so, with only one way that is by creating object so inside non-static methods we can access both the non-static variables non-static methods as well as static variables as well as static methods now let's see about static methods now see here how to define the static method syntax so if you want to convey a method as a static compulsory we need to use the keyword called static then only this method will become static now see here 
now this is a, this method is become what now static method so static is a keyword which is applicable for variables methods inner classes and inner interfaces so axis specifier by using axis specifier we can specify the scope of a method so void just now we discussed right it returns nothing return type if you want to return some values of execution of a method uh, before terminating the method uh, then we should write return type so method name method name can be anything but should be meaningful so every method can take what may take may not take arguments parameters based on our requirements so whenever we are keeping void as a method return type uh, return statement is not required we should not write any return statement otherwise we will get compile time error whenever our method is having return type uh, compulsory we should write return statement otherwise we will get the compile time error now see let me declare one static method here now i am writing some dummy methods static now see here inside static area inside static methods inside static context we can access only static variables if we try to access non static variables we will get compiled time error whereas inside the non static methods we can access uh, non static variables and uh, static variables now let me declare one static variables want only just for to see the things now so inside non static methods we can access both static as well as non static that can be variables that can be methods now inside the static methods uh, inside the static methods we can access only static variables directly but not non static variables if you want to access non static variables inside static we should create the object and then we can access so in total generally we can access static variables in three ways directly by calling their names through class name and through object now see here so when i am trying to access sys of name we won't get any compile time error because inside static methods we can access static variables and static methods directly but not non static variables let me try to access sys of a now see here what i am getting compile time error saying that boss change a to what static because um, inside static we cannot access what non static field so i want to access this uh, non static field inside this static uh, what is the way create object create object and then call it now see here now on this test dot uh, can i access yes syso of test dot b that means um, inside non static methods we can access static variable static methods and uh, non static variables non static methods inside static methods we can access uh, directly only static but not non static so inside static if you want to access non static that we can access through only object right now see here what i am doing now let me see here so first let me access uh, static variables and static methods so we can access static variables and static methods in three ways first way is directly by calling their names by calling their names now see here how i am accessing first we'll start about static static i'm talking so what is the static variable name i am having sys of name i can access directly and one more method what is the method i am having hello i can access directly this is the first way second way through class name so we can access static variables and static names directly through class name now see here so from which class you want to access from this class i want to access so test to demo one class name dot static variable name so what is my class name test to demo one dot what is my static variable name name next one i want to access the method so how can i class name dot static method name what is my class name test demo one what is my static method name hello next third approach is um, we can access static variables and static methods so third approach is using object now how can we create the object in java class name some interface name variable name is equal to 
new class name that is in java we can create object by using new operator now see here syntax how to create object in java now see the syntax class name or interface name some variable name is equal to new class name new class name so we can create object in java in the following way class name or interface name some variable name is equal to new class name so in java whenever we use new operator we can create the object so in the next videos i explained uh, we can create objects in java in different different styles in different different ways uh, just watch my coming videos now so using object what is my class name test demo one some variable name test demo one is equal to new class name new class name now see here i want to access uh, through this object i want to access static variable yes you can access and uh, through this uh, variable i want to access a static method i can access now see here it is giving just a warning put the cursor here See here what is telling the static field to test demo one name should be accessed in what static way it is suggesting boss you can access static variables through class name right so better to use in that way don't use through what object like it is giving just a warning it is not the error even though it is valid that means so we can access static variables and static methods in three ways first one is directly by calling their names second approach is um, through class name third approach is using through object and um, i want to access how to access non static variables and non static methods so if you want to access non static variables and non static methods there is only one way create object and then call it so already we created object here right now see here what i am doing so syso of test demo1 dot a and uh, syso of uh, test demo 1 dot b and uh, what is the method one more one test demo 1 dot display method what is that method i forgot yes add method test demo 1 dot add method now see here so we can access uh, non static variables and non static methods through only one way what is that create object and then call it but we can access static variables and static methods in three ways so are you observing through this object um, we can access uh, both static variables static methods as well as uh, non static variables and non static methods that is a uh, through object we can access static variables and static methods and uh, non static variables and non static methods let me run this program see here just observe the output run as java application now see here so run as soft run as soft is executing or not yes so in java we have two types of methods one is static method and one more is non static methods right thanks for watching the video have a good day thank you so much